Hey Taurus, thanks for tuning in. Welcome everyone to your tarot reading. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Uh, and we're going to be looking at what is your current situation, what's been on your mind, what's bogging you down, what's plaguing you, uh, and any sort of advice we can get um, working our way through the current situation here because we all have situations. Situations just never seem to end, do they? Um, but look, anyone out there after a private reading, please email me. Please subscribe to the channel. Drop a like if you enjoy this content. Feel free to sign up for channel membership as well. You'll get um, access to bonus readings and extended versions and anything else I post that's just for members' eyes only. Um, otherwise, let's kick off this reading, shall we? Let's get a card for overall energy. Taurus, what's going on with this situation that you find yourself in? What's the card that best expresses this? Okay, Ten of Swords, but it's reversed. Okay, this is good because I feel like I'm getting a letting go kind of situation here. Um, now, this I feel like this has taken you a long time to get to this level where you're at. So off the bat, I want to say you've come a long way. And congrats here, Taurus. You are letting go of a lot of pain, I'm seeing. And you're actually shedding a lot of layers. Reverse, these swords would fall outwards. They're all up, but they would fall outwards. Um, and then we can see that the darkness is down the bottom and the sun is up the top. So I feel like you're coming into a more balanced kind of energy. Uh, I don't know. I'm getting forgiveness. I'm getting letting go, moving on, forgiveness especially with an air sign or mentally. Power of the mind is, is astonishing here. Okay, Six of Pentacles is you in this spread. Okay. I do feel for a lot of you, there's been a line drawn in the sand here and you've started to see some things have become one-sided in a connection. Uh, I'm also getting that because you're moving on, someone's going to sense this. And I wouldn't be too surprised if someone comes back begging and pleading to be with you. It could be a soulmate or a twin flame. Uh, our reunion is on the cards here. I almost feel like your energy is going to shift so much that this person is going to feel your vibration and they're going to sense that you're moving on, you're healing, you're leveling up. Um, and they'll like beg to be with you again, beg for a second chance. I am seeing a reunion on the cards here. could be with the Leo. We've got Pisces and Aries. Um, the, the magician is reversed. I don't know. I'm getting some of you don't want to be alone. Are you afraid to be alone? Maybe single? Uh, afraid to be without this person you're not dealing with being alone very well and I don't know if you've been hurting I think this is maybe for those that have been hurting and what happens is you you feel like you've been on your own for some time you might meet up you might hook up with someone there might be someone coming in here for you and you're going to take that because you don't want to be alone anymore um, so that option is going to be around you Taurus Page of Cups, for some reason I get that you're going to be in two minds about the connection. You'll have you'll have your reservations, but you're going to go along with it anyway. You'll keep your guard up with the Nine of Wands. I don't think you're going to manipulate. I think you're going to be fairly honest to this person. To be honest, I think you've been hurt before. I think you've been hurt. Or you've been through some sort of cycle and you don't want it to happen again. So that's why you're going to sort of take your time. You're going to take your sweet time. And that's how it should be because you need that balance. The Six of Pentacles tells me that before someone's taken you for granted or someone's demanded so much more than you could give without giving that same thing in return. Now that hurts you, Taurus. You don't like that kind of energy. You're not going to sort of tolerate it. Um... You're firm but fair. And I feel like someone has betrayed. I'm seeing a betrayal with the Ten of Swords. But you're coming out of that betrayal. Believe me, 
You are. You are attracting an all new kind of energy. You're in that number one vibration in terms of the situation. And to be honest, I feel like things are blowing over and calming down now. Things are much more settled. They were chaotic before. They were crazy. Uh, it was a very tense situation. There was, a, there was a situation here where there's been a lot of name calling. I'm seeing abuse. I'm seeing things being done behind the other's back. Like... It was pretty cutthroat here, Taurus, and you've, I want to say congratulations for making it out alive and you made it to the other side because, my God, I just looking at what you've been through, some of you have been through hell and back and you've been in a very, very dark place because of how a person has made you feel or what they've done. And you don't want that manipulation I don't know if in a way, I mean, the begging and pleading is a form of manipulation. So be mindful of that. You know, they're trying to guilt trap you. Guilt, guilt trap, guilt trip, guilt trap. Is guilt trap a thing? <laughs> well, now it can be. They're trying to guilt trip you into a trap. But you're not putting up with it. The magician for you is reversed. So you'll, you'll smell something fishy as soon as they do it. You'll know something's up. The fish you'll know something's up right away. You'll smell it from a mile away. I do feel like it's something that's ended, uh, but you're still battered and bruised. Be, be, be gentle with yourself here, I feel. Don't put yourself in situations that you're not ready for. I think you'll know when the timing's right. I think you just got to follow your gut, follow your intuition here. We've got Leo energy. Leo's upright, Leo and Pisces. I get that there's something that you're still hoping for, though. I don't know if this is like a scenario you dream about or before you go to bed at night, you think about this or during the day and you're just like, let, let me just envision this. A part of you might come in and sort of say, oh, that's not going to happen. But then a part of you goes, but what if it does happen? What if it does? I want to be ready. I want to be the best version of myself. I want to be, you know, fill in the blank. But there is this fantasy. Okay, there is there is something you wish to, you want it to come true and you keep thinking about it. You might attract it because magician attracts. Um, you might attract it and the opportunity will come, whatever this is. This experience is going to come in the physical, but it's not going to be what you thought it would be or what you wanted it to be. And you're going to be slightly disappointed, I see. You'll be like, oh, is this it? Like, is this how I'm supposed to feel? Shouldn't I be feeling different? Feeling more? No, no, no. I think there's something you're not going to be too happy about. Or it's just like it's not going to live up to the expectation, Taurus, I don't think. Mm. Someone really needs you. I'm getting I need you. I need you. It's not even a question of want anymore. It's I need I need this, I need that, I need you to be this, I need you to be that, I need you to come here, I need you to be there for me with this. It's like needing, needing each other, but that's that's unhealthy. It's okay to want, but needing each other, like you can't live without this person, that's how you know there's an unhealthy attachment here. And it could be that, especially if this person is like begging and pleading you, it's them really needing you. So they probably have an unhealthy attachment to you. Not really a secure one. It's more like they're unhealthy, they're unsure, um, they can't have a stable existence without you. They could be, I'm getting someone who's very codependent on you. Uh, and I think that might put you off, to be honest. You'll be like, oh, is that who I was with? Like, is this the kind of person they are? Like, they're, they're, they're not going to look attractive in your eyes. And isn't that the case? Like, attraction level goes down when we start begging and pleading and guilt, tra um, guilt tripping, trapping. Isn't it weird? And then we're like, oh, I don't want them anymore. I think that might be the case. I wouldn't be too surprised. I do see that reunion. And whatever this Ten of Swords is, whatever this kind of situation you find yourself in, it's either connected you to a twin flame or it will connect you to a twin flame. So there's something very sacred that's going to come out of it. You have to trust the process that you've been through enough and now it's going to get you to the destination of love, of commitment, of union, whatever it is that you've wanted here. By God, you've done enough. You've done enough to get to the place where you're at now. 
So I think you're deserving of it. I think it's time. I think you're ready. Uh, but like I said, it might not live up to the expectation that you think it, it, it might. And that's that nine of wands. You'll put your defenses up and then be like, hang on a second. Do I really want this? And then you'll come into that page of cups energy and be like, mm, nah, maybe I don't want it. Meh, doesn't really excite me anymore. <laughs> um, it's kind of cute, but funny, but sad. I feel sad for this other person who's, who's, who's like clearly obsessed and they're going to be heartbroken, I think. Uh, and then they may get super defensive with you. And if they do, obviously there's a very strong emotional reaction, which means they obviously care. If they're very blasé and they're very like, I don't like, you know, they just, you don't seem to get much of a reaction from them, could very well indicate that they aren't as emotionally invested as what you thought they were as well. That, that could also be um, something to consider. I will wrap it up there, Taurus. So thank you again for watching um, my lovely little bulls. If anyone out there is after a private reading, please email me. Please like this video and also please subscribe to the channel. That would be very much appreciated. I'd love to have you um, join my little YouTube fam. So that is ever growing. So thank you for all your support and love and hopefully we'll be in touch soon. So thanks again, everyone, and bye for now.